Hi, and welcome to the first episode of The Naked Punt. We're live, raw, and real. How are you, Donnie? Oh, I'm very well, Brent. It's great. I'm, I'm excited to be in Big Dog Studios for our first episode. It's awesome to be here. And how's Aaron? I'm, I'm really good, mate. I'm pumped and I'm ready to go. I'm looking forward to all those comments that everyone's saying. I'm looking forward to a good season of football. This is a sports show that's been developed for you, the true sports lovers. So if you want to be involved and you want to get online, Get on board, and Donnie's got some information about how to get on side and find out what's happening. That's all right, yeah. We're all about fan engagement here at the Naked Punt. We've got a couple of awesome initiatives to get you guys involved. The first thing we want you to do, though, is, as always, the first order of business, hit that like and the share button, and let's just get this going out to as many of the football family as we can, and uh, send us your comments. I want to know, firstly, where you guys are. Leave me a comment. Let me know where you're watching from, and... Uh, and also, connect with us on Instagram. You can hit us with the hashtag, The Naked Punt. We'll have some gallery shots coming out in the next episode. Have a you bit got of fan engagement there. That's what we're after. And um, Aaron, um, you've got some uh, – you've got some topics being brought yeah, up this yeah, evening. Yeah, well, there's a, there's, a, there's a few things we've got going as well. We've got some gifts going. We're going to be able to give it away throughout the year. And yep. um, really looking forward to, like we said, that, that fan engagement is really important to us to, uh, to have a chat. But we've got other little topics. I know Donnie's got a nice little, little uh, special guest later on that he wants to have a bit of a yarn with. Yeah, we're he's excited, it. isn't he? Yeah, I know. He's, he's come a long way, hasn't he? He has come a long way, our special guest. Don't worry. Make sure you stick around because we do have, in our first episode, our very first special guest coming in. So make sure you guys are at the ready for that. And I'll tell you what I'm excited about. I've got a little uh, cue here to talk about the news. And the biggest thing that I think is newsworthy is we are on the eve of 2019 season proper. I mean, this time tomorrow, we're going to be sitting in our lounge rooms watching the uh, first game of the NRL season, which will be the St- Bron- Broncos versus Melbourne Storm down in Melbourne. And uh, I'm excited. We're going to break down the games a little bit later with our special guest. And uh, it's great to have you guys on board. So make sure you're hitting the like, the share. Let us know where you're watching. Right. Yeah, we've also got a poll that we want you to get involved with as well. Every week we're going to ask you a question and, and we want you to respond back to us to see, um, you know, what, what, your, what your response is, whether you like it or whether you've got an opinion on it. Um, and, and because it's the start of the season, we want to know what your opinion is of the of the commercial that the NRL have um, put out to promote our fantastic Great game. Great commercial, isn't it, Aaron? Uh, no, I'm not you. very happy about it at all, <laughs> mate. I'm, seriously, I, th- I thought with all the money they've got those blokes in there, they, they're putting it in their pockets, they're not doing bloody good stuff stuff with it because that commercial's rubbish I reckon what do you reckon <laughs> well I actually didn't mind I mean it, it didn't have a lot of football but it does show you know the, the one thing you know the, to him below though they're talking with his old man in the sheds about to walk out on the ground he says, looks at the sun and remember who you play for son and who these guys do play for are you guys the members so if you're not a member of your respective team make sure you hit the website of whichever club you follow whether it be you know Sharks or Sharks and, and, and get involved make can't, sure you get your membership can't in. we get 10 <laughs> Turn it back. Oh, that was good. Oh, that, that was, was awesome. And what about the good looking? Well, what about the good looking footballers that they had on there? Like, I don't think any of those guys were good sorts, man. Give me back. Et is a good Come sort. On, et he's still a good sort. I still, <laughs> still gets his hair cut at the same barber at the same place. Um, we might cut to an ad, and we'll be back shortly. Hi, I'm Ben Ross. I'm Aaron Raper. I'm Brett Maxwood, and I'm Don Ross. Welcome to the Naked Punt. Hit the link and join the Naked Punt Footy Tipping Comp right now. You know what? Life's always better, mate. Hi, and we've got Raper's Rant, and I'm going to talk to Aaron, and Aaron's got something to say, haven't you, Aaron? Oh, yeah, well, yeah I've got something to say. I've always got something to say. <laughs> my Brett, but my little, I've got a little bit of an issue with the uh, the NRL at the moment, the way they're um, taking care of the uh, salary cap issues that we've had and we've had throughout the years. I mean, um, this has been going back a long time. When I, when I was playing, they were having issues with it as well, and they were throwing out fines. But I just want to know if they're doing a good enough job with their governance of the salary cap. Um, I, know, I know we've had plenty of fines being thrown out, but all that does is just destroy clubs. Like the, the Sharks have had a, a, a massive fine put on them this year. Uh, I know the Melbourne Storm have copped it, the Bulldogs have copped it, I know just about every club's copped it. And I, I just want to know what they're doing about it. And Because I, I, it hurts everything, it hurts the NRL, it hurts the product, it hurts everything about the end of the game. And especially like with the sponsors, um, the supporters especially, because we don't like seeing our, our, our side um, being destroyed by either um, you getting the, the points getting deducted off you or you lose a player or or, or you get fined $750,000, which is you know ludicrous for, for something that the players have nothing to do with. They've got nothing to do with it. Not, what I'm saying to the NRL is that you need to take more governance, okay, all over the clubs. 
So what you've got to do is you've got to put more people on board, um, hire more people to do the auditing of the salary cap. And I don't care if you take $50,000 out of this, out of each team's salary cap, gives us 800,000 to be able to spend to make sure these clubs are playing fair. Because at the end of the day, players want to win comps. We want to do it fairly. We don't want we don't want anyone having performance enhancing drugs, and we want to be able to play against a side that hasn't been stacked. And um, you know, I, I, just, I just think it's, it's it's just ludicrous the way that they go. Here's thirteen million dollars or whatever it is. Go do your best. The, the game's bigger than that. So, Rapes, you want to take fifty grand off and uh, employ the the salary cap police? It's definitely got your hot under the car. <laughs> <hot. laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm furious. What, what, I'd, what I'd like to bring up, we've just got our first comment that I think is worth a mention. Matt Rogers has joined us up there, the brother up in Queensland, north of the border, yeah, and he right. reckons you've still got a great head for radio, right? So, <laughs> well done, Rat. Keep Thanks, them mate. great comments coming in. We've got guys in Darwin, Engadine. Uh, we've got uh, Lisa James, Jason Menwaring up there on the Central Coast, Kim Williams in Darwin. Make sure you keep sending us your comments if you've got any feedback or questions. We have, as was preluded earlier, our very first very special guest Ooh. join us in Big Dog Studios for the Naked Punt, and uh, here he is right now. It is the big man, Daryl Broman. How are you, Daryl? Donnie, great to be here. I've reached great heights now. I've gone from the footy show to the naked punt. I to be on an upward spiral here. We aren't worthy. Hey, boys, you all good? Mate, good going, going really well. Daryl, thanks to Ivan to thank you firstly for coming in, mate. It's a great honour no to have problem. you in the studio. But what, what I'm interested to hear from you, mate, is firstly, just generally, what excites you about the 2019 season uh, moving forward? Oh, mate, I'm just be glad when it starts. I mean, it's been a horror off season for the NRL and I'm sure the players want to want to play footy now and I, I think the competition is reasonably leveler I think it's evened up a little bit last year when we uh, 2018 first to eighth there was only one game in at two points and then there was a reasonable gap back to ninth but uh, I think this year it'll be a little bit closer I don't expect too many changes in the top eight but I think it'll be a great season. I'm, I'm really looking forward to tomorrow night as well as all the other games. It's going to be terrific. Yeah, I too am looking forward. It's just great to have football back on the agenda and we can start watching some games. Tell me, mate, who do you, who is your, uh, I guess, dark horse for the year? Do you think uh, th is the team that might turn a corner? I think year? the Cowboys had an awful year last year and I really don't know why they had such a bad year last year. But uh, no Jonathan Thurston, so you think they'd probably go backwards, but they won't. They'll go upwards, I've got no doubt about that. They bought very well. I think Josh Maguire's an astute buy for them. I like Nene McDonald. Had Barber still been there, I think they could have easily won the competition, but he's unfortunately gone for we all know why. Mm. Um, uh, Jordan McLean will play more games this year, and I think Michael Morgan will play more games this year. So. I think they're a threat. I think they're a threat. Whether they can win the comp or not, I don't know, but they'll be up there. Yeah, I, I agree. And, uh, we've had some awesome, some some more special guests join us on the viewing line. We've got Carl Lovell, ex-Cronulla players, joined us. Adam Wingnut-Smith <laughs> is on board, who's uh, bodyboarding royalty. Shout out to you, Wingnut. Good and, work, Wingnut. Uh, yes, good work. Uh, no, just uh, not, not Justin, <laughs> Justin Fitzgerald is with us down the south coast. So, Big Man, let me, let, me also, <laughs> let me also ask you this. Who uh, We've spoken about the... Uh, you know, who's your dark horse? What yeah. about any, I guess, young up-and-comers? Who, who do you think might uh, be, you know, the, the young gun to so watch? Mate, I've got a rap on Victor Radley from the Roosters. I, I watched him last year. I like the way he looks after himself off the paddock, particularly after winning a grand final. Didn't he give himself a hammery mare? Mm. But um, I, I think on the paddock, he's a superstar. I, I like the way uh, he's tough. There's not much of him. He's tough, smart, skillful. You know, he's a bit of old school, I reckon, uh, and I think you need one of them on each side. And, and he, I think, is, is destined to play higher on as he'll play for New South Wales, I think, in the next couple of years and will probably lead on from that to Australia. Yeah. I, think a, I think he's a gun player. Yeah, he, he, he played outstanding last year when, yeah. when, when, when he was on the football field and he's tough as he's... He's uh, durable and, he, yeah, like you said, he's not that big, but yeah. he's, um, he, he's able to put on some, some big shots. We've got a couple of um, old players as well. Like, I'm thought I'm going to call old. Oh, <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, yeah, but, and, 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 I know all about old. And, uh, <laughs> there's two, two that come to mind because there's, a, there's some, some brilliant footballers, obviously, but uh, two come to mind is uh, Greg Inglis and, and Benji Marshall. Now, there's been a lot of talk of um, Greg uh, as of recent yeah. weeks and, and uh, how he's been going with the injuries and whether he's capable of playing the one or if he's got enough um, energy in the legs to be able to play that position. Um, and then Benji Marshall is the same sort of thing, where is he, is he, has he lost that flair? What's the, uh, what are your thoughts on those two? This time will shoot? tell, both champions. I, I, I remember not long ago I actually watched a video of Benji's greatest tries throughout his career. 
But he scored or set up some of the best tries I've ever seen. He was a great touch football player, uh, wasn't mate, he? He was a great, yeah. he was a he great just rugby player. He is and skills. was a great rugby yeah. league player, yeah. full stop. But I think they'll both be fine. Benji, you know, he's clearly in the twilight of his career, as is G.I. Mm. Um, whether he's, you know, G.I.'s had a lot of issues off the paddock that he had to deal with, and that's not good. Um, whether he came back overweight or not, I'm not sure about that. He's still got a knee problem. Um, but we'll, you know, time will tell. I mean, you can't bag champions and they're both no, champions. No, absolutely. And talking about while you're on the subject of GI, one one matchup I'm really looking forward to witnessing in the first round, uh, and it remains to be seen if it comes to pass, is Latrell Mitchell, the yeah. young gun, the young bull versus the young bull. We know how the fable goes and who, <laughs> who wins that battle, yeah. but they are two players at the peak of their powers coming together for round one of the NRL. I think it can be, a, I think it can only be a good thing. Yeah, hopefully he plays English. So there's a bit of mail about that he might not play, but I hope you will. If he does, and he does face uh, Latrell Mitchell, what a clash that'll be. I mean, Latrell Mitchell's been compared to Greg for a few years now, yeah. mm. and I don't think they've ever actually gone head-to-head. And if Latrell does play opposite GI, it'll be phenomenal. And it's on Friday night with, at the SCG. The price of mission uh, I think one. so. Yeah, yeah. It'll be a great battle. They're two great sides, and they're two great players. It'll be great to see Latrell, how he's going to handle it, because he'd be awesome. Oh, he'll good. mouth off. I've got no doubt. <laughs> yeah. Does he? He's a confident kid. <laughs> he does mouth off a little bit. I mean, he might be a little bit. I don't think he'll be overawed by Greg Inglis, but I think he'll be nervous if he's up against him. So... Yeah, Greg's a champion, and, and you know Latrell Mitchell is a future champion. Oh, I don't know if you guys got to see it through the week. Uh, the NRL released a video through the week of sh- uh, the best of Sean Johnson, and it went for about eleven minutes. And I sat back and actually watched that, and you know what? I'm I'm very excited to see him in the in the blue, black, and white. And um, I'll tell you what, if you, if you can pull some of those plays out that are on that highlight reel, I mean, it's good. To, it's easy to look good on a highlight reel, but. Yes. Some of the calibre of those plays are uh, exceptional. Tony, he should be nearly the best player in the game, but he's not. Mm. You know, um, there's some, with, something with, there's something missing mm. with Sean Johnson. I think it's a lack of – I don't think he takes the line on enough. I think he's – and I don't know whether that's through the fact that he's not greedy or what it is, but he, I don't think he takes the line on enough. He should be a better player than what he is. Whether he can do that, you know, getting – I think he had to leave the Warriors and he's found a home at the Sharks. Uh, Sharks have got a good side. They'll, they'll be hard to beat, but well, they need him at his best, and he needs to be at his best because he, he's to me, he's got a fair bit to prove. Yeah, I agree. And Ashley, Ashley Williams, one of our viewers and a massive Sharks fan, share out to you, Ashley. He's actually asked, can, with, uh, you know, Luz and Flano, can John Morris step in? Shout out to you, Bomber. And uh, can John Morris, as a new coach, step in and take the boys to the eight? I believe that, you know, they've got the roster to do it. And, uh, uh, I think and I'll be I'll, disappointed if they don't make the eight. Yeah, I think they should. You'd I hope Moylan has a, a big year too at fullback. Yeah, yeah, well, he'd probably be more comfortable playing fullback. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, it's hard to be a new player in a side and run the side a little yeah. bit. Chad, I think Chad did a pretty good job of that last year. I think Moylan was was okay last year without being brilliant. You know, but they, they, the last few years they've bought some quality players. The Sharks. Mm. You know, they've got Aaron Woods there now. They've had Moylan. They've had Dugan. You know, they've got uh, Josh Morris there now. They've got Johnson. They've bought some. Pretty handy players. Yeah, they've, 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 lo- they've lost a couple though as yeah, well, haven't they? Which is a problem. Well, and I, I can see Matt Rat. He's uh, he's mentioned Jesse Ramey in there. Yeah, like he's he's going to be up against him. Yeah. He would be. A, he'd be a, a, oh. a big loss. But you know, you got we've still got Josh Morris and, and Dugan there, and I, I I think that if they can stay fit and they can stay, they're, they're international players. Well, Val Holmes as well. I mean, Val's you can't replace a bloke like Val Holmes, in my opinion. So, no. and they've lost some good players, but they've gained some good players too. They'll be. They'll make the eight. Yeah, well, let's hope. And, guys, if you have a question for the big man while he's still on set with us, send him in. If you've got a specific question you want to ask, Daryl will uh, we'll pass it over. I might not get to everyone, but I'll, if, a, if a good question or two comes across. As always, we want to connect with you guys out there in Digiland. So make sure you're hitting the like and the share. Get this going out. Make sure you also connect with us on Instagram. You can send in your photos with the hashtag TheNakedPunt, and we're going to feature some of those pics in the gallery uh, next week. We'll be uh, showing some of those and maybe giving one of you guys a chance to win a Cooked & Co from our good mates, Dragon supporters, Luke and Steph up there at Cooked & Co Cafe. Awesome organic food. So get in there and support those guys at San Susie. We've also got one of them for you, Big Arm, for coming in. So, is that and fish and chips? Organic, or is it? organic mate, it's, food. Mate, it's beautiful, home-prepared, <laughs> organic food. It's, uh, it's awesome. That's <laughs> <laughs> no, good. It's good. What, is, what are you getting there? That's organic food. 
Just I've been eating it for a while. Like, stuff. Like, roots and leaves and stuff. <laughs> I want to send a little share. I think, <laughs> I think the big dog's got its own little thing out of that there. I've got to, I want to send, I a, I want to send chilies and everything. So oh, good. I want to send a shout out to a few of my uh, colleagues at Reds Global have joined in. Luke Close and a few of the boys shout out to you. I'm surprised there haven't been some serious heckling come through. It's probably on its way. <laughs> and uh, Luke, Luke's saying g'day to Matty. So g'day to Matty from Luke. I'll see you in the crib room tomorrow, big fella. I backed him in Survivor too. It was just outrageous how we <laughs> mate, <laughs> mate, I was What's up there. What's going on there? <laughs> that, who got rid of him? But you know what? <laughs> oh, Fraser, whoever it was, who was it? I, I, was, I was up there at Christmas and I walked into his pool room and he had the idol hanging on a wall and oh. I said, mate, you know, that's worth half a million, that thing. <laughs> so, uh, no, he went well, but, yeah, you should have played it. You should have played it, right? But, uh, leave us your comments, your questions, your feedback, uh, and uh, let's let's talk um, round one. Let's 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 run through uh before we do that actually that's a we want you guys to be a part of our 2019 footy tipping competition the naked punt is all about fan engagement so if you jump on there there'll be a link down below to the naked punt footy tipping get involved i'm sure the big man's going to be there Happy yeah. to be part. A- aaron's in there i'm in there brett yeah, matt matt rogers my brother he's in there there's some a- andrew voss so come and uh, pick your put your knowledge and we're going to uh have Dino some... Tris, is, he, is he joined up yeah i'm sure Dino. Dino, Dino, yeah. shout out to you over in California, Dean Treister. He'll uh, he'll be a part of it, so it'll be good to have you guys a part of it. So don't, hit and, the uh, hit the link and get involved. Yeah, and don't forget to let us know what you think about that uh, commercial that the NRLs put on that uh, rubbish thing that they did. You know, I'm, I'm not real happy with the NRL at the moment. Am I happy no, not watching? Happy. I happy not watching. No, <laughs> he he used used to work we liked like his work. No, <laughs> Matt, Matt said Matt you said scorn former employee or anything. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. The big man. No, no. Matt, Matt just said yeah, he, it was outrageous how he got uh, he got shocking. kicked off the. So so he agrees with you, mate. He's, he's, he's still dirty about it. Get over it, right? <laughs> All right. We'll go and cut to an ad break. We'll be back. Hi, I'm Ben Ross. I'm Aaron Raper. I'm Brett Maxwell. And I'm Don Ross. Welcome to the Naked Punt. Hit the link and join the Naked Punt footy tipping comp right now. You know what? Life's always better naked. Welcome back. That was a quick 15 <laughs> seconds. It <laughs> was just going beautifully. Do you want to talk about your um, Laurie Nichols Awards? Yeah, well, 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 we're, all about, we're all about fan engagement here at the, pa- at the, uh, at the panel, at the Naked Punt. <laughs> so what we want to do in honour, and I'm sure you'll remember this bloke, uh, Big Man. Do you, you might remember Laurie Nichols. Absolutely. Now, he epitomised fan passion. You've never seen a more passionate supporter than Laurie Nichols. I can still see him in the first tier at Leichhardt over there in his black and orange Philip Singlet shadow box. And he used to throw out a few really good combos too. He could go all right. But he wasn't only a massive uh, fan of his club, the the Balmain Tigers back then, but he also toured with the uh, New South Wales sides. He toured with the 82 Invincibles and would get in his singlet in the north of England. Talk about passion. So we want to honour we, we, we want to find out who is the NRL's lorry. We want to name. We've got an award we want to give out. So if you know someone that just fits the mould, just bleeds for their club. it can be any team. It can, it can be, be any team. team. I remember any the 16. old Chook supporter with the rooster we, head years ago. He was my favourite. I think he's still around. He's still around, the Chook so. Yeah. We want, we want to connect with each and every club. So if you're out there and you know who the lorry is in your uh, neck of the woods, make sure you get them involved and I don't know, send us a picture of them with the hashtag the naked pump through Instagram and we'll feature them and uh, might even you know, get a spe- another special guest in uh, some stage on the fan gallery. That's it. And you can hit that with the hashtag the naked hunt to hey, Instagram. Hey, Donny, uh, Jason Mannering thinks that the NRL is okay, but he reckons that the Sharks membership ad is fantastic. <laughs> and it still gives him chills. I actually haven't seen the I Sharks seen membership it ad. So. Good, have you seen it? I don't think so. Post, no. a, post a link to it, yeah. uh, J-Man. The J-Man, uh, he's, he's got his uh, own sports his broadcasting up there in uh, on the Central Coast. So, J-Man, hit us with the link, mate. Send that through. And we'll, we've uh, we've also got a, got a shout-out to the Big Man's shorts. I don't know how the – I think your shorts well, looking, have got in there. I don't think you can see our pants in this. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how we're seeing the shorts. Yeah, well, we're all business up top, party underneath. I'm wearing my shorts, so don't worry. It's all good. And my thongs. So, it's all good. It's But make sure – Guys, I want to know. Let's let's hear from you viewers out there. Get, let, leave me a comment. Either it's only one word, Storm or Broncos. Who do you think is going to win the first round? And I think that might be a nice segue to start talking a bit of footy. Let's mm-hmm. let's run through. Uh, you know, next our week's thoughts games. On, yeah, yeah, let's do that. Next week's games. Yeah, for sure. Well, what we got here? We got uh, Storm versus Broncos. Yeah. Darryl, what's, what's oh, I like the Broncos. Storm. We've got a very good record against them. I know that. 
And I think, uh, Don, you've got a record that the Storm have won the, the last 16 yeah. first round games. Well, I actually pilfered that off Aaron Ray. Yeah, that, off, yeah, off yeah, earlier. Yeah. that was so just, worry, just I before. I got it off someone else, that one. <laughs> that was, uh, so apparently, yeah, I, I'm, I'm going to go with Melbourne down there in Melbourne. I just think they're going to be too strong at home. Yeah, I like the Broncos. Yeah, I'm going to go Storm. I, I'm looking forward to the, bit, the, the two packs coming against each other. That was going to be an outstanding game. What about the, what about the, uh, the Sharkies and the Knights? Yeah, I'm, I'm unfortunately, well, to tell you the truth, guys, I've, I've, I've backed everyone who uh, hasn't had a problem uh, in the off-season. So, uh, <laughs> non-controversial. No, non-controversial. <laughs> and uh, even though the Knights had a little bit of a hiccup there, but I think the Sharks had a big a big one. But um, I'm going to go the Knights, Pong and Pierce, looking forward to that. Yeah, I've, I've tipped the Knights as well. I'm not overly, well, I'm not confident because Sharks do have a great record against them and they beat mm. them earlier, I think, in a trial a couple of weeks ago, beat them 30 to 6. So, but I just got a feeling Ponga and... Yes, my run. Oh, I think the Knights have had a cohesive off season, and I'm going to go against my heart. And I'm going with the Knights as well. Carl Lovell picks the Storm down there in Melbourne. Let us know who you think out of Storm and uh, uh, Sharks and Knights as well, guys. And we've got the Roosters and the Rabbits. I'll start that here. Rabbit. I'm going the Roosters. Uh, it'll be a great game. SCG Friday night. Can't wait to be, it'll actually be there on 2GB calling it, so I'm looking forward to it. Mm. I think the Roosters, to me, look a better side than the Bunnies, but. Great game. Angus Crichton, actually. I don't think he's in the side. I think yeah. he's on the bench. He's on the yeah. bench. Can yeah. we get the, get the starting okay, side? So, side. Yeah. No, I, I actually think the Roosters are a better side this year than they were last year. Yeah, yeah they, they look good in that uh, World Cup challenge. and uh, But the, the Rabbitohs still look good. But I think uh, too much of it. Too many things happening there with Wayne coming and yeah, I'm going the rest. That makes me look forward to football. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm yeah. just looking forward to, as I mentioned earlier, that key battle between uh, Inglis and Latrell Mitchell. I just think that's going to be something special. I'm looking forward to watching those two lock horns. An interesting battle, the Warriors and the Bulldogs. How would you know? I mean, yeah. the Warriors mm-hmm. just deliver what you least expect they'll deliver from time to time and Bulldogs are at a well, hell of an off season. They got no money <laughs> for a rich club, and they got no money. I mean, they, yeah, it's crazy. It's amazing. Yeah. Well, they got money. They just can't spend it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I think that. the Warriors will probably beat them, but I expect the Bulldogs to give a yelp in this. Yeah, mm. I think the Warriors were a bit more consistent last year. I, I didn't mind that breathing that they were doing it um, after they scored a try. Oh, yeah, yeah. every night I'd sleep after. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, is that right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, breathing is good. Yeah, that's uh, that's going to make you win more games. You're but, yeah, no, I'm going to go the Warriors. <laughs> Carl Lovell has backed the uh, Rabbitohs. Sammy Roberts has backed the Rabbitohs. Oh, the, on the Warriors Bulldogs game, I'm going to go with the Warriors just with the home ground advantage across the ditch. Go, uh, go the Warriors. Beautiful. Ashley Williams wants to know who the Rookie of the Year is going to be, Big Man. Mm. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, so I'll be <laughs> There's a few there. It's but, hard to tell you. You know what? It, it might be. Well, what are you going to be? Not, you can't have played a first grade game. Is that what it is? I don't know. Anyone who has played a first grade, so I can't answer that. That's right. Yeah. Be someone from Brisbane, probably. What about the Tiger Seagulls? Uh, Who's going to win that one? I've tipped the Tigers. they got a couple out, though. Moses Embi's out. Uh, Chris Lawrence fractured his head the other day. He How did that everything. happen? Oh, in a training accident, I understand. It's he fractured his jaw, nose, I think, <laughs> two eye sockets. Yeah. And he's well, in a bad way. That's a big contact. <laughs> so he's in a bad way. Mm, but, uh, he plays no, sport. But I think, uh, I think the Tigers, that like out should be too good. Yeah, I'm going to Seagulls. Only, oh. Yeah, I, I'd love, I actually wouldn't mind going to see that game. What a great over from Mike Hardy's experience. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Matt Rogers thinks the Bulldogs and uh, Jason Manwaring thinks the Bulldogs. And the game we're talking about is actually the... Tigers, Seagulls. Tigers. I'm going to go with the Tigers at Leichhardt. Like, like, just like the big man, I think the Tigers. And in honour of Laurie Nichols too. So Yes. Yeah. Well the done, Donnie. The Cowboys and the Dragons. Oh, Cowboys, I think they're the big improvers this year. I uh, like them. I think they'll they'll win the game and uh, I think they'll have a big season. Yeah, that Michael Morden and, and Jordan McLean, like you said before, yeah. I'm looking forward to him getting a lot of minutes because he had a bit of a poor season last year, I think, for that move. Well, he missed from, a lot of games. He missed a lot of games, I understand that. But, um, yeah, but definitely the Cowboys, Cowboys for me. In the local derby, Panthers and the Eels? I think the Eels will start okay, but I think Penrith will get them in the end. Penrith. Yeah, I'm going the Eels. I'm going the Eels. Yeah. And how can you go the Eels? Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 I'm going the Eels. I know they're all, I've been horrible. <laughs> and I'm looking at this, this Panthers side and I just think, wow, that's mm. a great side. But... <laughs> but Dramas in the off season. I'm going to be going with the Panthers on that one as well. So, guys, let, let us know who you guys think is going to win in your uh, chosen game of the, of the first round. I'm really looking forward. This time tomorrow night, we're going to be halfway through the first game of the season, which is Knights and uh, Knights, which is Melbourne and Broncos down there at Amy Park. We want to give you guys a chance to win one of our Cooked and Co fifty dollar vouchers. Keep engaging with us. Make sure you send in your photos with the hashtag the Naked Punt through Instagram. We're going to feature some of those shots on the. 
supporter gallery uh, next week and uh, and give out a voucher and also our footy tips guys we've just run through our picks for the first round we've missed one there's a <laughs> we've missed yeah. the last one we've the Titans got Canberra. the Titans Raiders <laughs> I'll go Titans yeah, Titans me. Titans me as well. So there you go. Now back to the footy tip See competition. <laughs> Make sure you click the link below. We're going to have a link to our footy tipping competition. Get involved There's, uh, and uh, pit your knowledge against uh, the Brains Trust of the Naked Punt. Get involved. Sign up your mates. Hit the like, share, get the message going out and get involved. That's what it's all about. Shout out to Semi Roberts down there in Canberra. Massive Sharks fan. <laughs> Massive Roberts. Sharks. She's going the Eels there too. Yeah. Yeah, Sammy. Good good side there. A few, few people have thrown their, their tips in. Danny Wat- Watterson's going the Cowboys. Uh, Matt's going, going, going. Uh, looks like he's on the night. So he's looking at the sharks. Yeah, yeah. They've had too much turmoil down there. Yeah. Um, Carl Lovell going the Tigers. But I'd just like to point something out there, Aaron. I, I, I am tipping the Knights for round one, but nobody remembers in 2016 the Sharks. We actually lost our first three games of the season, so it doesn't mean the season's over. Don't uh, and I really don't think. I mean, what are you? What are your thoughts, Daryl? On I guess uh, with a competition this tight, I don't think the dust really settles and you know who's who until really no. round six or eight anyway. Uh, mate, I think uh, I think the Sharks certainly can win the comp. I've got no doubt about that. Mm. Um, you know, I wouldn't be backing them, but I think they can. Um, mate, you know, it's early days. I mean, they, 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 as long as you're playing well at the end of the season and you've got no injuries at the end of the season and you're in the eight, you can win. Yeah, fully fit Sharks side is a... Um, is a, uh, is, is a it's a good side, isn't it? Like no it, it, it can match, it can match a lot of the top sides here. But I just worry about if we get a couple of injuries. I just wonder what we've got backing up there. You know, I know that the, the seventeen looks good, the seventeen eighteen. But um, I just worry about uh, what we've got in, in in the younger grades. But yeah. I'm I think I'll be all right. I'll, 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 I'll yeah, I'm. Uh, and by the way, Matt Rogers, he's uh, he's tipped the Titans. Surprise, surprise. They're probably paying him. Um, <laughs> before we go any further, too, I, I just want to issue an apology on behalf of Ben Ross. He he was really looking forward to being a part of the Naked punt and unfortunately he's had to uh, he's been pulled into line has to maintain the status quo and uh, he can't be with us but a big shout out to you Rossi and uh, we Thank miss you mate and he is in all the promo material but we'll sort that out and uh, uh, yeah, thanks for being a part of the promotion yes Good stuff. All right. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. It's been great. This is our first episode, and we look forward to seeing you next Wednesday at 8 p.m. where we'll do it all again. But as always, and as Donnie has been saying, we need your support, and we, this show's for you. So we can only operate if you support us, and we'll support you with all interesting guests here, there, and everywhere. I'll tell you what, before we sign off, we've just gone Ooh. to Hollywood. Chloe Maxwell's Whoa, involved. There she's commented as well. So, Chloe, oh, hit the lights and share. Not stop. Let's get all the good sports involved. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. It's been great to have you in, oh, Daryl. Thanks good for Good night, gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks very much. Thanks for being here, Aaron. Great to see you. Tune in next week, 8 p.m. live on Facebook. Naked Punt. Hit like and share.